Well, I see symptoms of it already. I mean, you have on the cover of a magazine right now. I think it's uh, I think it's Newsweek magazine, mm-hmm. if the report is correct. You have the picture of President Obama as the first gay president. It's all about confusion. The white supremacists don't care how they go about dominating non-white people as long as they know that they can get the best mileage out of dominating the non-white people of the planet and mistreating them by, first of all, confusing them. So when you confuse the sexuality of people and this habit, this rampart all over the place where anybody's just doing almost anything and don't even know why they are doing it, and it's supposed to be some type of improvement because the white supremacists always approach, just like they approach the people that we call Indians and handed them alcohol, and they say, this is an improvement over water. Said, hey, chief, I mean, take a drink. I mean, this is an improvement. You've been drinking water all these years. Oh, you don't want to drink water. That's bland. I mean, you you got to have some alternatives. That's what you need, chief. Your people need alternatives to water. So I got some stuff here that looks like water, kind of tastes like water, but boy, it's a better water because it is fire water. It's got water and fire mixed together. See, it's a mixture of water and fire, and we call it fire water. Take a Mm. drink, Mm. and you know what happened as a result of that. Now, it was all innocent on the surface, but anything that the white supremacists approach non-white people with, the first thing that the code says you do is jump back. Don't jump forward, because they wouldn't be approaching you unless they had an agenda that is hidden. Always be suspicious because one of the major strategies for confusion that the white supremacists thought about when they first thought of the idea of the system of white supremacy, which means dominating the non-white people of this entire planet based on color and not only dominating them, but mistreating them for fun, glory, and profit. That's the reason for the system of white supremacy. So they figured out you can use violence against them, direct violence, and that works up to a point. But with the numbers that you have to control, you don't want to kill them all because then that will put you out of business as a white supremacist. Just like raising chickens, you don't want to kill them all. You just kill off a few at a time, I mean, because that's a, you're in the chicken raising industry and you raise chickens to kill them. So they do the same thing with black people. But they kill all so many at a time, you know, population tailoring, and then they keep the rest and actually nurse them along and whatnot, but fattening them up for the kill again. And it's all a matter of just a way of really having fun. This is what they run the world for. I mean, it's just a way of saying this is what life is all about. So they do that in the area of sex, too. Sex is very important. So you say, how do you dominate people? best in the area of sex, people that you want to dominate and mistreat. How do you dominate them? You dominate them the same way you dominate them in all other areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, and war. So in the area of sex, the eighth area, you say you dominate them by confusing them. See, you can always dominate people when you can confuse them. Now, in the 1960s, uh, black people, and black males in particular, uh, during the Martin Luther King demonstrations down in Memphis, Tennessee, black males are walking around with signs saying, I am a man. Because black males, as far back as I can remember, even in just their general conversation all day long, more than anybody on earth, when I was coming along, you don't hear it so much now. You hear the word dude. But in the old days, Black people all day long, shooting pool, working on a, a, a machine, changing a tire on a car, working in a restaurant, shining shoes, doing janitorial work. In their general conversation, the average black male would use the term man all day long. Hey, man, where you going, man? Hey, man, what's up, man? Hey, where were you last Saturday night, man? Oh, man, you my man. You know, my man, 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 man. Why? That urge to be a man. 
So when we start breaking loose and it starts looking like we were really getting to be men, the white supremacist says, no, not on my planet. On my planet, all men are white. There's no such thing as a black man. Black males can be children or they can be women. If, you, if you're a black male, you have, under the system of white supremacy, the white supremacist doctrine is you can remain a child, and if you want to go from a child into something else, well, you can grow up and not be a man, but you can grow up and be a female. Now, if you black males want to grow up, you can grow up and be a female, and I'll put you in the movies and put a dress on you, and I'll drench you in money. And you'll be on your way, but you will not be a man ever in this system of white supremacy. So take your choice. Now, if you really want to prosper, you really want to get a blank check that you can just fill in and write your own ticket, then you've got to go from childhood to womanhood. You can be a female, rather, not really a woman, but you can be an imitation female. And I'll endorse that. But you will not be a man on this planet. You must remain a child. And that's what we all are in the system of white supremacy. Why? Children are dependent. Dependent on whom? Dependent on people who are grown. Who are the only grown people on this planet in the system of white supremacy? People who are classified as white, according to logic. And that's why for years we were called boys and girls, and sometimes the females were called gals, you know, because you're children. They call, hey, boy, you know, and then we get insulted, see, but really that is our position. Yeah, on a kind of limitation on, on, in time, I'm, I'm talking kind of fast, but I hope people are picking up what I'm saying. But I'm saying the white supremacist system, which is what we're in, says that if you are a black female, you will never be a woman. You can go from girl, and then you can go to imitation man. If you're a black female, hey, if you don't want to be a girl now, if you don't want to be a gal, you're not going to be a woman on my planet. But you can, if you just want to grow up, which we call growing up, then you can switch over from being a female to an imitation male. Now, the black males can switch over from being males to imitation females. And then you all can just go and do whatever you're going to do. But you cannot be men and women. That's what they're really saying. 